Welcome back to the channel, Classic Volkswagen Lovers uh, Jr. with a Classic uh, VW Bucks and Sony to Super Beetle. Today I'm going to walk you uh, through a oil pressure gauge installation. It's a very simple mod that you can't do to your car. So I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to show you the mechanical part, which is the installation of the uh, sending unit or switch. And then I'll show you the wiring along with the wiring connections over at the uh, trunk compartment. So first let me show you what is the mechanical part which is a very simple um, part. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is the original um, oil pressure switch. This is the switch that comes with the pressure gauge that you purchase. This is a very simple connection. I purchased a, a brass uh, T connector. I removed the original sensor from the engine block, connected the T, treaded the T in, then connected this and connected that. So that's basically the mechanical part. Now, this wire here, it's the common wire that connects to the uh, original sensor that sends the signal to the dummy lie in your speedo this wire here is the green wire connection that goes to your brand new gauge so if you notice here what i did i jumped it from here to here and there is a reason for that initially i thought about running an individual wire for this signal here however i already have a wire all the way ran from the back which is this one here uh, to the front compartment that connects at the speedo so basically what i did i jump uh, a wire from here to here and basically it's the same thing so you can save yourself a ton uh, some time and just connect it like this and you you will receive the same signal uh, through the oem wire so this is the mechanical part, a pretty simple connection. Then here, what you can do is you can get yourself some of those uh, double connectors and then jump it from here to here and you don't have to mess up, you know, uh, your uh, wire by splicing it. Okay, so that's done there. Let's go ahead and move to the front and uh, show you the wiring connections and then we'll do a test run to see if it works. And then after we do a test run, then we'll proceed to install it in the car. I won't show you the installation in the car. I'm just going to show you the operation of the gauge. So this is the gauge right here. Uh, as you can see, I have other two openings because I'll, I will be install, installing two additional gauges. Voltmeter gauge and also a tachometer. But for now, I'll just share with you the installation of the oil pressure gauge first we'll go to the wiring diagram looking at the oil pressure gauge red goes to a battery which is a uh, positive 12 volts white goes to a ignition switch which is also a positive uh, 12 volts yellow goes to light switch which is also a 12 volt and green is your signal which is coming all the way from the back as i explained earlier i am actually using the actual oem uh, green wire it's blue with a very light yellow stripe in it you can run an individual wire if you wish but i didn't think that it was needed because i already had a wire it's going to uh, bring the same signal all the way from the back so let's go ahead and uh, refer to the wiring diagram. If you don't have one, it is a good thing to have. If we find here E1, E1 happens to be my light switch. And I will be connecting uh, one of the wires to the light switch, which happens to be the yellow wire. Then the white wire is going to go to my ignition, which is uh, D right here and the way that I am going to connect this is by joining together these two wires which happens to go to a common connection 
So in my wiring diagram, this yellow and black, it's coming from the ignition, which one of the wires is going to the ignition switch, which is uh, the uh, white to the ignition switch, which is this wire here. And then yellow is actually connecting to this red wire, which happens to come all the way from the light switch. So that wire, only has power when you turn your ignition switch on that's kind of like your your key to know that you are connecting in the right wire okay so the wires are, are connected uh this blue wire it's connecting to the dummy light over there which happens to be in your wiring diagram if you look closely uh, right here f1 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 is your oil pressure switch which happens to be this one right here if you follow F1 it is a blue wire with very light green stripes in it if you have your OEM uh, wiring harness if you follow that wire all the way it connects to your k3 which happens to be your oil pressure light dummy light in your speedometer okay so is this blue green wire connecting to my k3 right here then this red wire is going to a live source which happens to be power 12 volts you can use a multimeter to measure the power or you can use a, a test light you can see that the lights on and then your last wire which happens to be the ground wire this one right here you can actually connect it to any ground surface or any ground terminal in your car uh, which could be a common ground terminal connection like this one right here or if you have a spare uh, connection for ground up there in your speedo you can do that so we have connected all of the wires let's go ahead and give it a test run to see if it works right now it's off Okay, so right now the gauge is off. I'm going to turn the ignition switch on. If everything is connected properly, it should turn on. Okay, that looks like that's normal. Now we're gonna start the car and see if it's gonna be uh, reading the pressure or not. And the gauge, it's working fine. So next will be to install it, and we should be fine. Okay, friends, so that's it for this uh, tutorial. Uh, if this is the first time that you're watching my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until then, this is Junior with uh, Classic VW Books. Junior out.